Now we're gonna jump right into the metabolic testing, which is super fun. I've kind of felt like an astronaut. <laughs> And what I'm going to do, ma'am, I will, uh, I'm going to set up the metabolic machine. Yeah, it will be really good to have this number. What this is going to give you is a resting calorie rate, okay? When I turn off the results here, um, you're going to get the resting metabolic rate. So what you're going to see is that you're going to get a four-digit number. It's going to be in calories. So whatever this happens to be, let's say it's 1,500, all right? That means that at complete rest, if this is all you did all day long, your body will need about 1,500 calories a day to keep your metabolism system going, all your cellular functions, because all the cellular functions need energy, okay? They require calories for you to live, okay? What we're gonna do is I'm gonna get information from you about your lifestyle, your fitness, and then we add all those in and we get your chart and we can tell you an overall number. Uh, but what you're gonna look at right now immediately is gonna be a resting rate, okay? So with this, this works on a system of what we call indirect calorimetry. And that means that, that's a fancy way of saying that we measure your metabolism by measuring something else. And in this case, that's oxygen usage. It takes a little over 200 milliliters of oxygen to burn a calorie. Got that set. What I'm gonna do here, the only rule is, don't go to sleep, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, Try not to talk or move around any more than you absolutely have to. And we're gonna have you under there for 15 minutes. So this is not a exercise test either. So don't try to breathe super slow or super deep or artificially try to control your breathing because we wanna make sure we're measuring you and not the room. So if you can lift your shoulders a bit, good. Bring them down, very good. I'm gonna tuck this around and try to keep the air movement to a minimum. And I'm going to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So what we're going to find out is after we add in everything here and build up your chart is to get an ideal, close to ideal um, range of calories for you. And if I'm eating, and I'm not going to have me eating. So this number, if I come and I do this test every 30 days, would it change much, or is this more like a longer in-between? We want longer in-between for this. Okay. Uh, this I we're going to recommend every 90 days. And is there a large margin for error? For it's about question? plus or minus 75 calories. Okay, so that's very accurate.